We're going to have a great recipe for tilapia today with Chef Gary here. Good fish. I love serving tilapia to people who think they don't like seafood. It's got a really nice, firm texture, and it's got a fresh, clean taste. Uh, we make sandwiches out of it. We use it on salads, all manner of stuff. It's fast becoming a real American favorite. It's really great fish. Today, we're going to bread this. We're using uh, ramen noodles, of all things. We don't need that. We've taken the noodles and put them in the food processor and crunched them up, and I'll just walk you through the process. First thing we do is dust them with cornstarch, not all-purpose flour, because cornstarch doesn't have, well, the difference in gluten, it doesn't absorb anywhere near the amount of oil that plain flour would. Oh, that is a great tip. So it's yeah. lower in fat. Absolutely, absolutely. Great tip. One of the great things about this particular recipe is the texture. You were talking about getting kids to eat fish. Kids love crunch, and this has got the most magnificent texture. It's really wonderful. We've got a little skiff of oil that we put a teaspoon of butter in, so we'll get that wonderful, wonderful buttery flavor without all the cholesterol. And we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. We're gonna saute these for about, oh, three, three and a half, four minutes on each side, or until they get a light golden brown. We'll be back in a second with some really wonderful side dishes. This tilapia with the ramen noodles looks like something my kids would really like. It's got that crisp. They love that wonderful, wonderful texture. And we've got uh, acorn squash that we've split, uh, removed the seeds, buttered and brown sugar. I guarantee you they're going to like that. They're going to like that so much they'll even eat the Brussels sprouts. And we've garnished it with a, uh, it's, well, it's more than just a tartar sauce because it's flavored with a little bit of saffron. And you had a great idea about this. Well, you could probably cut the fat by using yogurt or a low-fat mayonnaise? Absolutely, or yes, definitely low-fat yogurt or even non-fat yogurt and a low-fat sour cream would work wonderfully in that. And look at this. From the Russian River country of Central California, a really marvelous Chardonnay. It's buttery and a little kiss of oak. Just what you want in a great Chardonnay. It'll go perfect with this tilapia. Try them both, you're gonna love them.